is Janelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make these super cute oversized bucket hats. Bucket hats are huge at the moment but I am rather partial to the look of an oversized bucket hat so I thought I would have a go at making some and I'm so happy with how they've turned out that I'm going to share how I went about making them with you today. To make this project, you will first need to download my free template that you can find a link to in the description of this video. This template is one size fits all, but if you'd like to make it a little bit smaller or bigger, you can take it in or out by about one centimeter or one third of an inch. Start by cutting out all the template pieces in your fabric of choice. I also wanted to add some ties to my bucket hat so I can still wear it on windy days, but they are totally optional. Once all cut out, you should have the following pieces. To make the ties for the bucket hat, slightly fold in and press one end of the tie piece, then fold and press each edge of the tie into the center. And then fold and press it in half once more. Pin in place and top stitch along both edges of the tie. Set the ties aside for later. To make the bucket hat, you basically need to make two hats that will then be sandwiched together at the end. So each step will be done twice. I like to make the two hat pieces at the same time by simply completing each step twice, but you can make them one after the other if you prefer. I'm not sure if this makes sense yet, but keep watching as everything will become clear at the end of the video. Start by taking the two band pieces and with right sides together, stitch along the side edges. The seam allowance for this project is one centimeter or one third of an inch. Next, open the band out to create a circle shape. Then take the crown piece and pin it along the top of the band pieces. This part may take a bit of time to get right, but just keep pinning and fiddling until the crown piece fits nicely in place. Then stitch the crown to the band. And you should have two pieces that look like this. Next, take the two brim pieces and with right sides together, pin and stitch along the side edges. Pin the brim to the bottom of the band. Remembering to pin the ties we made earlier to the brim at the side seam of one of the hat pieces. This piece will become the inside of the bucket hat. Stitch in place, sewing the ties in place as you go. Once all of your pieces are stitched together, press the outer edge of the brim in to the wrong side about one centimeter or one third of an inch. And you should now have two complete hat pieces, one inside out with the ties and one right side out like this. So now it's time to sew your two bucket hat pieces together. Place the right side out piece onto the inside out piece, matching the side seams of the brim together and pin in place along the outside of the brim. Because the two pieces have been sewn exactly the same, they should fit together perfectly once one is on top of the other. Once pinned, stitch the two pieces together along the edge of the brim. Once attached, repeat this step to create multiple rows of stitching along the brim. To do this, I like to line my presser foot up with the last row of stitches to ensure the rows of stitches are spread out evenly along the entire brim. These 
process of stitching, give the brim a bit more structure and will help it to give it a nice bucket hat shape. Press the stitching to make the brim nice and crisp and your cute little bucket hat is complete. Something else you could try is making your bucket hat reversible with two contrasting fabrics, like I've done here with this vintage floral and brick coloured fabric. It turned out really nice and I love seeing a little pop of the floral from under the brim. this fun bucket hat tutorial. If you do have a go at making them then I would love to see so be sure to tag me at Rosary Apparel when you share them on Instagram and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching!